This collector's edition costs $250. Or there's this special edition that goes for $800. That's the cost of over 13 brand new games. But those are still too cheap because today we're gonna look at the most expensive video game collector's edition of all time. An edition that's so ludicrous and over the top that you would literally need to sell your house to afford it for most people. No, seriously, it gets that expensive. But we're gonna start with the cheapest video game special editions and work our way up to the most expensive. Starting with this $30 special edition, the Among Us Crewmate Edition. This is the cheapest one that I could find. I mean, the game itself is only $5, so the rest of the money is going towards an access card, stickers, a map, and PC wallpapers. Okay, so why don't we increase the price to $70, which will get you the Sonic Mania Collector's Edition. The game on its own still only costs like $20, but in this edition, it comes with a replica cartridge with a secret ring in it. And the main thing here is this pretty sweet Sonic style statue of him just standing on a Sega Genesis. And considering this game was them bringing back the retro classic Sonic formula, this collector's edition fit that theme perfectly. But now let's increase the price by 10 and look at the $80 Mario Kart 8 limited edition. Other than the new box, this one just simply comes with the infamous blue shell, now in statue form. It's a pretty cool replica, but kinda tiny, so you be the judge if you think it's worth the extra $20 for it. But we can go higher. Now we're breaking the $100 mark with the Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle Collector's Edition. Yeah, you know that weird crossover that Nintendo did with the Rabbids of all things? Well, here's the Collector's Edition. And honestly, it's kind of standard with what you get here. You get the music soundtrack, some playing cards, and the main edition is this Mario Rabbit statue, which is still kind of small. So let's step it up even more to the $130 items with this Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Master Edition. This one, I gotta say, is pretty cool with what you get here. Now we're getting into some seriously interesting collector's editions. You get a Switch carrying case that looks like a Sheikah Slate, since that's what the item in the game is based on. And then there's this awesome, realistic statue of the Master Sword in the ground. And while these are all good and all, we're not even close to the price of the most expensive collector's edition, so I cannot wait to show you guys that one. But for now, we're going into the $150 range with this Call of Duty Black Ops Prestige Edition. This one I actually really like because it comes with an RCXD killstreak as a little real life remote control car. There's even a camera on this thing so you can see where you're driving from your controller. This one is a lot like the new Mario Kart game now that I think of it. But we don't have time to talk about that because now let's increase the price to $250 with the Titanfall Collector's Edition. And just Look at the figure you get this time. It's massive and it is a super detailed replica of the Titan. Then you get the other standard stuff like the art book and this poster here. Now we might as well bump up the price to the $300 mark. Starting with the SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated FUN Edition. And yes, that title is just a mouthful. This time you get three figures here that are a pretty decent size, and that's pretty well the main part, other than some socks or keychains and such. So it's kind of pricey, I'd say, considering that these are pretty simple figures. Okay, so now this list is about to get serious because we're jumping into the $800 range. These special editions that cost more than brand new consoles and the prices are only going up from here. Let's start with the Dark Souls 3 Prestige Edition. So what do you get? Well, there's this soundtrack, some patches, a big art book, a really cool map made of cloth, a medium-sized Red Knight figure, and this pretty big Lord of Cinder figure. Whoever that guy is. For me, I never made it past the first Dark Souls. I mean, this looks pretty cool, but why is it so expensive for this? It's basically two figures as the main attraction. So why don't we look at another collector's edition at this same price where you get a lot more stuff. The Assassin's Creed Origins Dawn of the Creed Legendary Edition. And just look at all this crap that comes with the game. What isn't included is the real question. Well, you get a... 
Map of the game, two steelbooks, four signed lithographs, an official soundtrack, an art book, seasons pass, certificate of authenticity, whatever that is, eagle skull replica, and a 73 centimeter statue of the main character. Holy crap, man, would you like a game with all of that? But I'll admit though, this statue is a very good size and it is the coolest one we've seen so far, but why is it $800? But now it's time to break the $1,000 price tag with this next collector's edition that goes for $1,300. And it's for the game Resident Evil 6, the Premium Edition. And this edition doesn't have a bunch of little trinkets this time, but it comes with one major addition, Leon's leather jacket from the game. And it is now turned into a real leather jacket that you can wear. So now even you can look like the famous zombie killer. But too bad that they didn't do this with his more iconic Resident Evil 4 jacket though. Still, this is a very unique addition, I'll say that. So after that, we've already passed $1,000. How much more expensive can these collector's editions get? Well, how about we go up to $10,000 for the video game Crater, the Victor Edition. Crater is a pretty unknown game released on Windows that was made by the small developer called Fat Shark. And these guys decided to make this $10,000 Victor Edition, as it's called. Where if you buy this, then the game designer, Victor Magnuson, will fly to your house and deliver the game personally wherever you live. Then, and I kid you not here, he will then cook you dinner himself and then play the game together. I mean, Victor, I'm sure you're a great cook and all, but I'm just trying to play a video game. Like, it would be kind of cool to play a game with the person who made it, but not for $10,000 here, okay? But that's gotta be it, right? There's no possible collector's edition that could pass this price. Well, how about we look at the Grid 2 Special Edition, the price? $190,000. So what do you get for this price? Well, it's a racing game, so you get a race car driver's helmet, bodysuit, and gloves with all the Grid 2 branding, so that's kinda cool. Oh yeah, and then they throw in an actual race car. Are you serious? Yes, just look at this beauty. This is a legitimate race car. I mean, at this point, why not just shop for race cars? That's what I would do. And if I got this, I wouldn't even play the game. I'd just throw it out. I'd be having too much fun in my actual race car here. Funny enough, there is one recorded person that actually bought this edition, and that person is Dead Mouse. Okay, okay, okay. But that's gotta be it, right? Surely there's no special editions that cost more than a race car. Well, there's actually three more special editions that cost more than that. And let's start with the cheapest of the three that goes for $387,000. This is for the Dying Light My Apocalypse Edition. And this giant package comes with four signed steelbook copies of the game, two headsets, zombie survival parkour lessons, a human sized zombie figurine, your own face in the video game, a round trip to play the game with the devs, and oh yeah, they'll make you a real life house, aka a zombie shelter, that is made by Tiger Log Cabins. You know, that's actually not too bad of a price. You get a lot of stuff with this thing, but who's gonna wanna spend this kind of money for a video game bundle? Okay, come on. Like, what else is in store here? This is crazy. We've already gone above the price of an average home in America. So how much higher can we even go? Well, how about we try the $1 million collector's edition? And this is the Saints Row 4 Super Dangerous Wad Wad Edition. Oh, just wait until you hear all the crap that this one comes with. You will get a flight through space, a hostage rescue experience, plastic surgery, first class flight to Dubai and Washington with a seven day five star hotel suite in both destinations, a Lamborghini and Toyota Prius, one year of auto insurance, supercar membership, a personal shopper, a capsule wardrobe and a full size replica of the dubstep gun from the game. Oh, well, that last one was actually sick, and now this is all worth it. I mean, I feel like this one was just a joke on these crazy video game special editions in general, but I have a feeling that they'd still do this if someone actually bought it. This has got to be the most ridiculous special edition out there, right? Okay, no more. Come on, this has got to be it. I'm already in debt a million dollars from the last bundle, 
So how much more crazy and ridiculous and ludicrous can we go for a freaking video game bundle? Well, we might as well get on to it and look at the most expensive video game collector's edition of all time that goes for $10 million. And once again, it goes to another Dying Light Special Edition. This time, it's the Dying Light Spotlight Edition. Basically, they'll make you a movie star if you buy this. It comes with a role in the Dying Light movie, professional acting lessons, stuntman training, off-road driving course, a makeup session, tickets to the movie premiere, a screening tour across the world of the movie, and four copies of the game. Oh, well, at least you get four copies. Now this is totally worth the money. So yeah, the most expensive collector's edition will essentially put you in a movie. But considering the Dying Light movie was eventually cancelled, I think it's safe to say that nobody bought this edition. 